What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today's video, a video you guys have been asking for for a long time. Today we're talking about apparel. This is our fifth video, I believe, in the first annual, first ever uh, Spring Buyer's Guide series for you guys. So today we're talking about rain gear and apparel. Let's go. <music> Today we are finally talking sun gear and rain gear. Two subjects that we get questions about non-stop. Uh, it's a subject that we occasionally dabble in, uh, but we've never really just taken a deep dive into it. And, and quite frankly, that's because I'm concerned it's gonna be a little bit of a commercial, right? And I know that's your concern as well. Yeah, you know, we, we try very hard for the most part to stay completely non-exclusive like we don't try to be this brand or that brand or whatever we'd like to try, try everything. it all and we did and we have and the more and more you know we used to do our own clothing we would have it you know it done and then my wife would do all the emailing and shipping and everything it just got too big for us to do in-house and we really were were happy with the afco gear we were we were wearing that we had had a chance to use and then really getting to know the people behind AFCO and, and, and really the, the family that they have and it's all family owned and just their, uh, they care so much about conservation and they give back 10% of their entire company's profit every year back to conservation. They're donating you know, release boats and this and that. So it's just, a, it was a really good fit for us. So when we had to branch out and do our own clothing, it was just an easy transition. And again, like those, like I said, those guys are like family. They're all fishermen. They all love the sport. They want it to grow. And so it was just an easy partnership for us. But yeah, like Matt said, it's hard to do this without it just being an AFCO commercial. Um, I, I don't even want to say I'm going to apologize ahead of time because we truly love all this stuff. Right, this is what we, we wear. We, yeah, we, we wear it. We've had our hand on some uh, some key features or designs on some of the stuff. And uh, those guys are family to us. and Guys and girls are family to us. And uh, we really respect them as a company. And uh, we love wearing their stuff. So let's jump into it. I mean, it's we're going to show you exactly what we wear. You can take this information and apply it across brands. Right, you need to go find a sun shirt and you like a certain brand, by all means. But we're gonna show you exactly what we wear. So let's start with, start with rain, rain gear. gear. Because when we get to sun gear, you know I'm gonna go on a rant. Yep. Uh, so rain gear, let's kick it off. Uh, let, rain gear, no matter what brand, it seems like rain gear has come a long ways. Isn't that the uh, From like the Bass Pro Shops 100 mile an hour gear that I used to wear. Now the stuff is so technical um, and there's so many different options. So rain gear can be a little overwhelming and uh, hopefully this will help kind of narrow down what you might need to purchase. Yes. So we have just like every other cat, this could be drop shot baits, right? We try them all. So we have tried all the rain gear and we've narrowed it down to three suits that we wear a lot. And that seems silly to it a does. person who's not traveling around the country. You have to understand when you travel, you can be in a rainstorm in South Florida and then be Where it's in a, 85 degrees but right, raining. But pouring. And then you can find yourself on the Canadian border in the middle snowstorm. of a giant snowstorm and everywhere in between. Right. So um, why don't we why don't you start with barricade and then we'll talk hydronaut. Barricade, so day in and day out. If we're not talking extreme weather, this this is called barricade. I got the bibs under here as well, but matching pants or matching bibs and jacket. Barricade, I just wore this in Florida, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. It started raining. I just wanted to stay dry. I didn't really care about cold or anything like that. I wanted to stay dry. So barricade, I'm not gonna even say it's an entry level rain suit, but it's a, it's a everyday keep you, keep the wind off, keep you dry type of suit. It's not very, heavy it's not um it's not going to keep you very warm you'd have to layer underneath yes. it it's just the shell so the bibs the jacket but again i keep this in my boat all the time especially if i'm fishing you know down in florida or texas or here it's not getting too cold if it's going to be cold we have different options for that but if you're just looking for a very very high quality uh, suit that will keep you dry, that you can wear layers, wear a hoodie underneath. 
this guy is for you. Yeah, that's the suit that we're just always in, right? That's the one right. where you're like, oh, it's gonna be a little colder, I'll throw, I'll throw another hoodie underneath that and let's go. But you're here on Chickamauga, it starts pouring on you, and it's 85 degrees and humid. Right. You can't, should you even wear the rain suit? Because you're gonna be soaked either way, <laughs> right? You're either gonna sweat or get wet. So that's where that lighter weight suit makes all the difference. Now, yeah, morning runs, if you just wanna break up the winds, right. that sort of, you know, that is the suit for you. Now this is Hydronaut, and this is, and same deal, the bibs are tucked underneath it, but Hydronaut is, still it's just a shell, but it's a much thicker, thicker shell. Right. It's a much heavier duty material. So if you are not living in a place where, like California as an, as an example, it's either the cold and rainy season or it's the dry season, right? You very rarely get rained on when it's when it's warm. warm. Yeah. Uh, and there's, there's other places that are like that. So if you're not worried about wearing it when it's hot and humid and also when it's cold, this is the suit I would go with because Hydronaut is bomb proof. Uh, super heavy duty, super waterproof, and just takes a beating. I have put mine through it. I mean, I've worn it in every situation. I have let it roll around in the back of my truck and in my <laughs> rod lockers, and it just keeps on going. Uh, it is an amazing heavy duty suit. If I could only have one, that is the one that I would get unless I live in a warmer place. Yeah, that is the suit that day in and day out, if, you, if you're living in an area that has colder weather, wetter we weather, weather, that is gonna be the suit for you. Like this is gonna be just the shell just to keep you dry. That's gonna keep you dry and warm. It's a heavier duty, dirt, heavier duty suit and that's gonna be the all around, probably our number one suit. Yes. Uh, the last one in this category is same deal, Hydronaut, but this is the Hydronaut insulated suit. If I can flip this inside out, it truly is insulated. This suit, if you're a Northern guy and you're tired of being cold, that suit is the deal. Uh, I have fished in it twice now where it's actively snowing. I mean, snowing hard and I'm still wearing just the bibs because it's that warm. Uh, I mean, it's gotta be downright cold, cold for me to wear the bibs and the jacket. Uh, a lot of times, if I like, if I look at the, the forecast and we're gonna launch and it's 14 degrees when we're going out and you're gonna be most of the way through the day before you break freezing, I take the insulated bibs and my regular jacket. Like it's still not cold enough for me to keep my insulated jacket on. Uh, it's really amazing how warm it is. Yeah, I fished uh, Dale Hollow uh, about a month, month and a half ago. And when we launched, I think it was 17 degrees and I had that suit on and I can tell you, I didn't have a base layer on and I was warm throughout the day. That suit, if, you're a, or if you are a cold weather fisherman, that suit is amazing. That's the best warm it suit can I've get, ever worn. Yeah, it can get hot. It, it, I mean, if it warms up to like say, 45 degrees 50 degrees now you're like starting to sweat oh it, yeah it is a cold weather suit so if you are a fisherman that fishes in those extreme conditions those extreme cold weather conditions that insulated suit is magical yeah now one other thing that i wanted to add is this soft shell and we actually just reviewed this in our last gear review video uh, this is sort of an in-between. We're just talking apparel. We've, we've now left rain, rain gear. gear. I'm just talking about an apparel item. I was on the phone with one of our buddies and we were talking about this jacket and he referred to it as his boat jacket. And that stuck with me. That was the perfect explanation. Uh, this Reaper soft shell is super warm. It's very water resistant so it sheds water it's not a it's not a raincoat uh but it's very water resistant uh, it's vented under the armpit so you don't get super hot in it uh but the big thing is it has that reaper sun mask but you don't have to have it on right. so in the reaper hoodie if it's you're right not here. wearing it it's around your neck this goes behind your head when you're not wearing it 
And then just general looks, and again, we just reviewed this, but just general looks, it's a very good looking right. around town jacket. And I, I joked, but it is absolutely the truth, that Tim and I come off the water all the time and it's like, get off the water and go straight to meet the families for dinner. And at least here we're presentable, right? <laughs> like you still stink, you still came off the water, but at least you look all right going to town and grabbing some food with the families. Uh, it's just a really good boat jacket. The best one that I've found for wearing to and from the lake, on the water, out to dinner that night, just very, very comfortable. Yeah, fall, winter time, that is like a jacket you throw on with your jeans and, and shoes. And just like, go it, fishing. It's just a, yeah, it's just a, or even around town, it's a yeah. really comfortable, uh, presentable jacket. Um, and that's what's cool about the AFCO stuff. You know, they got t-shirts and, and sweats and all sorts of stuff, but um, we're strictly sticking to the stuff that we wear in, wear day in and day out. Right. So um, you said you want to go on a tangent about sun gear. Do you want to do that after? Let's talk before? hoodies first. Let's talk hoodies, hoodies and, then our, and then the rest of our stuff. Why don't you just talk about our stuff okay. and then we'll... So he was just talking about on. the Reaper. That's what I'm wearing right here. And now the Reaper has changed the game as far as hoodies. There's a lot of companies now doing the same thing, but they were the original. They are the first with the built-in mask built into the hoodie. Goes up and over, holds your hat, keeps your face warm. It's vented. Um, and then there's the uh, shadow. Shadow is so, just like a more of a regular hoodie without the just the shell the gator without the gator built in. Um, and the Reaper is amazing. It, it keeps you warm, keeps your face warm, those early morning runs. Uh, and then if you're a guy that kind of has a thicker neck or doesn't like to have the Reaper right here, that guy right there, the shadow is an amazing, uh, it, 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 uh, beads up water. It's not really waterproof, but it, uh, it's, they do shed water. It though. sheds water, uh, very comfortable to wear. And that's why we chose it to put our logo on. Right. Uh, you know, looking at some of the best hoodies on the market, the Reaper, it's a best seller. It's something we were wearing all the time. So when we partnered with, with AFCO, we, we got to choose what we wanted to do and put in our logo on the Reaper and the, the shadow was, uh, was a no brainer. With that said, right now, uh, we're working on the new Reapers. They're coming out. The new Reapers are coming out with our logo. So right now you can actually get it's a specific sizes that are left. I think smalls and mediums. Smalls and mediums. But you can get these at a discounted price as we transition into uh, our the new Reapers with our logos on it. We'll leave a link down below in that. Uh, I, I kind of touched on it a little bit earlier. You know, Tony and my wife having to run around and do all the mailing and emailing and all that stuff with the with the apparel. It just got too much. So uh, thank you guys. Uh, we get yeah, so many incredible. requests for hats and and hoodies and all that stuff. So thank you guys for the amazing support. Um, and hopefully you guys, those of you guys that have got our stuff, love the stuff that we've paired up with AFCO because we really love it. I think you guys do too. With that said, we also have done some sun shirts. We got hooded and non-hooded, a few different colors. But again, it's sun gear. This is stuff that you you can wear around. I got a Reaper here. That's a different colored Reaper. I'll throw that over there. Yeah. Uh, this is stuff that you can wear all spring summer long you know you throw your board shorts on you you go to the pool you go to the lake or whatever but more importantly when you're out in the sun on the water you're getting that spf uh protection you know skin cancer is something that unfortunately you know us as outdoorsmen we deal with a lot and uh you know it's it's really hit close to home i'll let matt kind of go into that a little bit more but um wearing good clothing wearing sunscreen wearing hats um, is really, really important, especially when you're out in the sun as much as, uh, as we are. So with that said, there's our sun shirts, comes in hooded and non-hooded. Uh, one other thing I'll talk about real quick, and I'll let you kind of go into your spiel, is hats. Uh, you guys were joking the other day, I actually lost my hat while I was shooting that raw video uh, and, and pulled this guy out of my, uh, my rod locker or my compartment in my boat. You guys were joking, this is a sunbro. This hat is awesome. If you are a... <laughs> Uh, a warm weather fisherman. If you're a guy that fishes when it's hot, lots of sun, throwing this thing on, it protects all around your face, your neck, your shoulders. It's super comfortable to wear. You can cinch it down. But uh, I'm new to the whole straw hat sombrero game. You guys were joking about calling it a sombrero. But uh, this thing is awesome. So day in and day out, we're wearing our hats, our flex fit hats. Um, but uh, when it gets really hot, uh, sight fishing, something that keeps the shade on on your face. We're gonna go with a hat like this guy right here. Right. All right. Let's let's talk sun gear. 
Um, I'm gonna put my dad hat on for a second and just lecture everybody about skin cancer because it's a it's a real thing and it has hit very close to home. I'm all scarred up now, right? I had to have a, a Mohs surgery where they took a giant hole out of the side of my face. Some of you know this, some of you don't. I had a huge hole in my face and now I've got this S on the side of my face to close it back up. Um, I've had spots taken off my back, spots taken nose, off my arms, right? my nose. Uh, and my battle is definitely not over. I mean, we both go in every six months. Every six months, it's important forever. to see a d dermatologist, even if you don't think you have it. Um, you know, I started, and, and luckily for me, I just had to have some stuff kind of frozen off. You know, it was early stages. You know, unfortunately for Matt, his were a little bit more, uh, more in depth. Right. Um, this is a real thing. You're going to face it. Uh, you are a fisherman. You're in the sun. Odds are you're trying... Odds are, really, odds are your turn is coming. Yeah. So I don't care if you're 17 years old, 14 years old, or 55, it, it's time to take it seriously. Uh, for whatever reason, skin cancer is rampant, but you can do something about it. Covering up makes all the difference. So we get trash talked in the comments all the time <laughs> by people who come on the channel and, and they're like, what are you ninjas? Why That's you right. <laughs> These guys wearing masks, you know, propaganda. And we're like, no, it's not that mask. It's, it's a sun mask. It has a purpose. You know, it's, we do this for a reason. So masks, this is the bass mask. Soul pro gloves of all the gloves. Soul pro are my favorite gloves. I've got bigger hands and big wrists and the soul pro fits really well. Uh, and you don't lose the sensitivity of the rod. You right. Know, that's open some palms. Of, some of the gloves, you lose that, I guess, dexterity, I guess would be the word for it. But the sensitivity, um, you can fish with these all day long. They're super comfortable. But the important thing is I'm covering my face, my ears with my mask. Tops your hands. I cover the tops of my hands. And then I'm wearing a sun shirt, full coverage on my arms full coverage on my legs most of the time. Uh, the only place where I fall victim is the tops of my feet. And I've, I've had to get a lot better at sunscreen in my feet. I don't like sunscreen, but I understand how important this is now. I mean, I'm way too young for what I'm already going through. I'm in my 30s and, and I call it the chop shop, man. I have to go in and get chopped on. Uh, it, it's a real thing. And every time we've talked about skin cancer, someone, in some cases, a bunch of people have reached out and said, hey, I took your advice. I went in, I got an appointment. The appointment's no big deal. You just go in, they look you over. But every single video that we've talked about it, somebody has reached back out and said, I did that. I had cancer, didn't know it. Thank you. Yeah. That's a big deal. That's the whole reason we're doing this video. It's not about the clothing. If, if anybody gets anything out of this video, it's go to the dermatologist and get checked and, and be thorough make sure they're thorough make sure they're checking your back your shoulders your your, your whatever but make sure that you're doing it on a uh, at least once a year at least once a year sometimes two times a year if you're really out in the weather a lot and in, in the sun a lot but yeah it is very very important so if anything you get anything from this video you know listen to our experience you'll um, you'll listen to us on which worm to throw which crankbait to throw go see a dermatologist yeah it's preventable if you stay on top of this thing it, it's preventable and you know it seems like so many people every year just kind of pass away from skin cancer and it's unfortunate so that's why it's so important to get the right gear wear sunscreen wear stuff that covers you up right. and and have a good dermatologist uh, last thing I want to talk about apparel wise is glasses um, protecting your eyes uh, and also just from a pure fishing standpoint, I mean, forget the actual protection. We'll talk about just the fish catching proper polarized sunglasses or everything. Um, we've worn eye surrenders for years uh, because they were the best glasses that we could get at an affordable price. Uh, and was it two years ago? Last year, two years ago, time flies, man. We finally partnered up and did, some of you may not know that these are our glasses. These are tactical bass and sunglasses by I Surrender. Um, the same way we've done crankbaits and swimbait heads and A-rigs and everything else, uh, we've also done glasses. The reason why is that the discussion went on for years about doing glasses and we just wanted no part of it because we were, we've never been interested in just 
selling stuff. Putting our name on something. No, we have no interest in that. Unless we can make it better. Yes. So for years, we just said no to sunglasses because all we were gonna do was add our logo and then you mark it up so you can make some money and, and you call it a day, right? And that, that's not a fan. I'll just leave it at that. We're not a fan of that. But the opportunity came to do something tangibly different, to do a, we already loved our eye surrenders and we got the chance to do higher grade lenses, better coatings and be super affordable, especially compared to the market. And right. you did the, the bulk of the work. So I'll turn it over to you. Uh, but that's when we finally jumped and created what we think are absolutely the best glasses you can get uh, for the fishing that we're doing. And it's totally affordable. Yeah, that was the key is we wanted to make the product better. We didn't want to just slap our name on it, slap our logo on it. And we spent a lot of time looking at I'm going to say thousands of different prototypes and frames and lenses and everything. And, and we wanted to keep a certain price point. So what we did, we went out and we found the absolute, the best lens that we could get. It's uh, it's, it can't be safety uh, rated because they actually shoot it with uh, a rubber bullet, but it did pass the safety uh, requirement. The lenses do. The lenses yeah. do yeah but, the frames don't because, but because we wanted them to separate. Right. We went with breakaway arms that way if you drop them or step on them you don't break your glasses they pop away so unfortunately we can't advertise them as truly safety glasses but they did pass all of those safety tests we went with a thicker lens a clearer lens we added some coatings to it to shed water um, we, re we really did make some tangible changes to it to increase um, how you know just how they worked on the water I mean the the visibility uh, you know we've said it for years we can just truly see better um, with these glasses than we could with other brands. Um, but yeah, so we spent a lot of time picking out the frames and the lenses and colors and all that sort of stuff. But we, we truly wanted to bring a product that we, we could keep under that hundred dollar price point, uh, and bring the best product to the market because there's an unbelievable amount of markup in, in sunglasses. It's insane. And it, it's crazy. Um, so we wanted to do the absolute best that we could and keep it under that, that price point. And we've done that. And the reviews have been amazing. Guys love them. Uh, they've been uh, the best pair of sunglasses that I've, I've ever worn. So the, the one thing I want to say is we were very specific on lens colors as well. Uh, we wanted these to be fishing glasses. So the one that I poured the most time into was the ambers, right? Sight fishing absolute perfect vision as deep as you could see in clear water and i will say if you were to wear those ambers day in and day out they will beat your eyes up because they are so bright but their purpose is not to be your everyday sunglass that is a sight fishing glass or a low light glass low light driving um, yeah they're incredible for seeing deep absolutely incredible and we were so specific on the shade of amber to, to maximize the ability to see in the water with those. And then what you're wearing, coppers, Yep. if there's sediment in the water, so like you get algae bloom or it's after a storm, it's clearing back up. If there's any sediment in the water, copper will see way better than amber. It sees through sediment. Whereas amber, you could spot a bed in 30 foot of clear water, right? Yeah. It, it's unbelievable. Just adding headlights is, it, yeah. And then, and then the other lenses for different things. I wear day in and day out. I just wear the grays. Yeah, and there's there's greens that are in between the uh, the coppers and the grays. I think right. the grays are 15 percent uh, darker than the greens. But there's so much scientific stuff that goes into it. We don't want to go down that rabbit yeah. hole. Yeah. But uh, I will say you would not believe how many different shades of each lens there are and we had to try them and see physically test which ones we could see deeper with so we put a ton of time into the lens colors that we've chose and i think you guys would uh, really really enjoy them yes so with that we will wrap it up um this stuff is important rain gear is important sun gear is extremely important protecting yourself protecting your eyes uh, this is what we use. We will link it all down in the video description for you. Uh, we'll give you the specifics on the exact items that we wear so that you can be prepared when you head out on the water. We hope you guys enjoyed this buyer's guide. We have one more coming for you tomorrow. We are talking boat electronics and accessories uh, to get you out there on the water 
comfortably fishing at your best. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys.